Chinese capital is blanketed in snow this morning, paralyzing Beijing. Joining us on the line is our frigid Steve Engel with the very latest. Is it a winter wonderland or is it uh, something more akin to a nightmare on this Monday, Steve? Well, I think it's a bit of a headache for the morning commute, obviously, in the first real work day of the uh, new year of 2010, Bernie. Uh, yesterday, it was a bit of a nightmare at the Beijing Capital Airport. I flew in from Seattle, no problem. I was one of the lucky ones. We arrived about a half hour late. Uh, but I understand about 298 other flights were canceled yesterday. Air China canceling all flights into the capital and out of the capital after 5 p.m. Uh, there was quite a blizzard last night. Uh, China Southern also uh, postponing all its flights uh, to Beijing. 472 flights delayed in, in all, uh, Bernie, yesterday. Uh, the airport, of course, providing food and water to stranded passengers. But uh, from my experience yesterday, uh, security was pretty good uh, coming in, but then the, the chaos really was out in the uh, taxi stands. There were no taxis to be found in long queues um, in all the different taxi queues. So uh, a bit of a headache, obviously, on the transportation front. Uh, today, it might not be as bad. Yes, it is quite frigid, as you said. It's going to be minus 21 for a low at Celsius, also about a high of minus 11. But I'm looking out over the skies right now, clear skies in Beijing. So that's why it's going to be quite cold today. Uh, there's not the low clouds to keep the heat in. So it's going to be a cold but clear day. Check your airline, obviously, Bernie, if you're going to be flying today to Beijing. Yeah, uh, we're looking at uh, some of the, uh, the, the the vision of the uh, snow plows and the uh, desanders in, in in action. I mean, the muni municipal services in Beijing they can pretty much keep things on track, and of course, people have to do their part, make sure they have the all-season radials or, or or the chains. Do things move along? I mean, regardless of how high the snow drifts are. Well, they do. I mean, this is a northern capital, so Beijing is quite familiar with the winter weather. Uh, this is quite a severe uh, storm as far as, or, or winter, I should say, already the third major storm. Last year, I, if I remember correctly, there were only maybe two light snowfalls all season. Already we've had three major blizzards. And it's also a flat city, remember, Bernie? It's, uh, uh, so traffic keeps on moving. I am standing next to the Fourth Ring Road right now, and cars are moving, yes, slowly, but the traffic of the morning commute is moving right now. I don't see any snow plows, to be honest. The side roads are full of about a foot of snow, but the main arteries, the fourth ring road, is moving quite uh, smoothly, slowly, but steadily right now. And uh, personally, I still have yet to see an empty cab. Uh -huh. uh, where we grew up, uh, we, we were known for uh, donning the cross-country skis uh, to get the class across campus. Do you, do you see unusual sights like that in the capital, Steve? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> I uh, no, I don't think so. I have not seen anybody <laughs> out on cross country sneeze, snow, uh, skis. I should say sneeze. Excuse the, the slip there, but yeah, um, no people. Um are lining up uh, looking for cabs. They have their own cars, of course. Uh, so many cars are being sold uh, on the streets of Beijing. And again, probably the best way to get to work today is uh, via the subway. But uh, again, if you're claustrophobic, forget the subway. Well, give a give a call to our friends at REI. I, I sense an entrepreneurial opportunity there. You could start a new trend, Steve. Stay I warm.